Welcome to my channel. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. Triple H made an appearance at Crown Jewel 2024 to present the Crown Jewel Championships to their respective winners, Cody Rhodes and Liv Morgan. The game concluded the show by celebrating with both stars. However, beyond this celebration, the Hall of Famer might consider disciplining Nick Aldis and Adam Pearce for their failures at the premium live event. The general managers of Raw and SmackDown appeared during the brawl between Kevin Owens and Randy Orton. Even before the match officially began, chaos ensued, forcing Aldis and Pearce to step in to restore order. However, their attempts failed as the prize fighter began attacking officials. Meanwhile, the Viper didn't hesitate to strike Pierce with an RKO. Given their inability to control Orton and Owens at the Saudi Arabia show, the WWE chief contents officer might decide to punish both general managers. Triple H could argue that if they can't manage two superstars in a brawl, their roles might need to be reconsidered. This could also serve as a power check from Triple H, ensuring that Aldous and Pierce are effectively fulfilling their responsibilities. If the CCO does choose to punish the former NWA World Heavyweight Champions for failing to maintain order, it would send a clear message to both of them. This could mean that if such incidents occur again, consequences might extend not only to the superstars, but also to the general managers. After the events of Crown Jewel 2024, fans might expect an appearance from Triple H on next week's SmackDown. The King of Kings could appear specifically to address the situation surrounding Kevin Owens and Randy Orton. During his appearance, the game might acknowledge the risks involved in booking a match between Co and Orton, admitting a possible oversight in allowing it to proceed. Additionally, given the attacks on officials, the chief content officer could issue suspensions or heavy penalties for both stars. Triple H might also reveal the next chapter of the storyline, following the chaotic conclusion at Crown Jewel 2024. Many speculate that Randy Orton could be written off television due to the damage inflicted by Kevin Owens. If this is the case, the game could confirm Orton's hiatus during his anticipated appearance on the upcoming episode of Friday Night SmackDown. Overall, the next edition of The Blue Show will be intriguing as fans await the fallout from Crown Jewel. At WWE Crown Jewel 2024, the WWE Universe witnessed incredible moments, unforgettable matches, and controversial actions that left fans buzzing. Yet amidst the excitement, two former champions stirred up controversy, going beyond the bounds of competition in a way that shocked fans and angered backstage officials alike. Now, rumors are circulating that Triple H, WWE's chief content officer, is planning to respond with swift and decisive action. For those superstars who thought they were beyond accountability, a powerful message may soon be delivered in the form of punishments and consequences. These two former champions' actions at Crown Jewel didn't just cost them professionally, they have also set off waves backstage, with many questioning what led to such drastic behavior. Let's dive into the potential aftermath of Crown Jewel and explore why Triple H might feel compelled to address their actions with a stern hand. It was supposed to be another memorable night on WWE's grand stage, with both former champions primed to showcase their skills and remind fans why they've held titles before. However, something went awry during their match, and instead of sticking to the script or focusing on a clean performance, they escalated their intensity in ways that bordered on reckless. Their tactics, viewed by many as unsportsmanlike and unnecessarily aggressive, were the subject of much debate and criticism. Fans observed their reckless disregard for the rules, a level of animosity that didn't seem typical, and a willingness to risk serious injury, not just to each other, but to other performers as well. Reports indicate that their actions weren't part of the storyline, and WWE officials were left scrambling to address the fallout. Commentators barely knew how to handle the situation, and the atmosphere in the arena turned tense as fans wondered if they were witnessing a legitimate breakdown in control. 
While the match ended with a clear victor, the manner in which it unfolded left a bad taste in the mouths of those in attendance and watching at home. Now, with the dust settling, WWE officials are facing pressure to respond, and Triple H, known for his commitment to professionalism and respect within the company, is reportedly ready to lay down the law. Since taking on an expanded role in WWE's creative and operational decisions, Triple H has shown that he values discipline and professionalism above all. Known for his straightforward management style, Triple H has embraced his position as a guardian of WWE's traditions and standards. While he's open to pushing boundaries to entertain fans, he draws a clear line when it comes to unscripted behavior that endangers the integrity of the show. With Crown Jewel being a premium event in the WWE calendar, Triple H likely felt that the actions of these former champions disrespected the significance of the occasion. Insiders have reported that Triple H was displeased by the lack of discipline shown during the match, and he may feel compelled to use this incident as an example for the rest of the roster. Triple H's reputation for maintaining control backstage has endeared him to many fans and wrestlers alike. However, he has no problem laying down consequences for those who overstep boundaries. The WWE roster is a tightly knit group with unwritten rules, and breaking them can lead to severe repercussions, especially under Triple H's watch. So what could Triple H have in store for these two former champions? WWE has several disciplinary tools at its disposal, ranging from financial fines to demotions and storyline repercussions. Here are a few likely paths Triple H might consider as he looks to address the situation. Fines and Suspensions WWE has a history of imposing fines on superstars who engage in reckless or inscripted behavior. A fine would not only hit these former champions financially, but would also send a message that WWE does not condone their actions. However, a fine alone may not satisfy the need for a more visible consequence. In that case, Triple H could also impose a temporary suspension, sidelining them from upcoming matches and appearances. This would deprive them of screen time, effectively lowering their current momentum and acting as a public statement that WWE will not tolerate unprofessional conduct. Demotion and Storylines In the world of WWE, storylines dictate a superstar's prominence and importance within the company. If Triple H decides to demote these two champions, they could find themselves relegated to lower-tier matches or facing less prominent opponents. This demotion could be especially humiliating given their former championship status. Not only would they have to work their way back up the ladder, but they would also need to regain the trust of management and the WWE Universe. Triple H's aim here would be clear, to remind the entire roster that respect for the company and for one another is paramount. Forced Public Apology WWE has occasionally required superstars to issue public apologies for actions that negatively affect the company's reputation. Triple H could insist that the former champions apologize both to their peers and to the WWE Universe, acknowledging that their actions were out of line. This kind of public acknowledgement could be a powerful way to repair some of the damage done to their reputations. A public apology would be humbling for the superstars involved and could help restore some faith among fans who were disappointed by their actions. Involvement in a punishment-based storyline One of WWE's unique disciplinary tools is incorporating real-life tensions into storylines. Triple H could assign these two former champions a storyline that serves as a punishment, perhaps requiring them to face insurmountable odds in the ring or participate in grueling matches as a form of penance. By turning their punishment into entertainment, Triple H could leverage the situation to generate ratings while subtly reminding the roster of the consequences of inscripted behavior. A storyline based on redemption or atonement would add depth to their characters while reminding viewers that WWE takes its rules and image seriously. Assignment to Community Outreach or WWE Events 
Another possibility is requiring the former champions to participate in additional charity or community events on behalf of WWE. Triple H could enforce a penalty that involves spending time outside of the ring to repair their reputations. This could also benefit WWE's public image, as fans would see that the company holds its superstars accountable. If Triple H chooses to enforce strict disciplinary actions, it's not just about punishing these two individuals, it's about reinforcing values within the locker room. WWE has seen its share of controversial behavior over the years, and every incident tests the limits of what the company will accept from its stars. By cracking down on unscripted actions that veer into recklessness, Triple H could be setting a precedent for the entire roster, emphasizing that no superstar is above WWE's standards of professionalism and respect. Moreover, this incident serves as a reminder to up-and-coming talent about the importance of adhering to the company's expectations. WWE's reputation depends on the consistency and cooperation of its superstars. When high-profile stars step out of line, it reflects poorly on everyone involved, from the superstars to the executives to the entire organization.